Hello and thank you for joining me again on Run Level Zero. We're going to start our review today with a bit of a history lesson. Up until just a few years ago, if you were a new user uh, coming over to Linux from Windows for the first time, one of the safe desktops that you could choose was Mandriva Linux. Uh, Mandriva offered a, a very user-friendly environment for you to get your feet wet. Well, a few years ago, Mandriva made some unwise business decisions, and it wound up pretty much in their demise. Uh, the developers from Mandriva split off and went their own way, and they developed uh, Magia Linux, what's known today as Magia, which, you know, I really need to review Magia. That's, uh, that's a good desktop in its own right. So it, the, the situation was similar to the one that happened with OpenOffice.org giving birth to LibreOffice. So out of Mandriva came Magia. Another one of the desktops that forked off of that split is Rosa Linux. And that's what we're looking at today. Rosa Linux, again, had its birth, had its origin in Mandriva, but it has its uh, its own unique personality now. It is a Russian uh, developed distribution, and as you can see, it is just elegant. It is visually appealing. Everything from the boot splash through the Plymouth, the login animations, is very cohesive and just graphically appealing. Now, a word of caution here. Rosa Linux, according to their own website, is developed for more advanced users. And this is one of the things that actually surprised me. Rosa, when, when I was reading the description of Rosa and how it was aimed at an advanced Linux user, I kind of cringed. I didn't know what to expect because those type of advanced distros uh, are usually very Spartan. They, they usually expect you to do your own configurations, which is kind of the opposite direction that Rosa has taken here. This, this is a complete polished environment. Um, and being aimed at advanced users, you can configure this you know, any way you want, which you can really do with any Linux distro. Now, if you're a beginning user, uh, if you're very adventurous, go ahead and give Rosa a try. Um, I definitely wouldn't shy away from it just because they say it's it's developed for the advanced user. I believe that there's enough here that it will be comfortable enough for a newer Linux user. I wouldn't recommend this definitely not for your first Linux distro. But like I said, if you're more adventurous, go ahead and give this a try. So what do we get? We get an awesome KDE desktop. Now, this Plasma desktop here, the K desktop environment, you can see is just, it's just beautifully themed. It is set out in a more traditional uh, fashion. You have the primary desktop with one panel along the bottom. Sorry, I am running this in a virtual machine. Uh, as with most of my reviews, I've given it uh, two gigabytes of RAM and two dedicated processors. So I, I like having all of my reviews to have a, a fair, honest baseline, an equal baseline for comparison. So looking at this bar, you have access to your trash folder, the clock and calendar, network settings, volume control, clipboard monitor. You have access to Rosa 2 Safe, which I really haven't played around with this too much but it looks to be something similar to Ubuntu 1, perhaps a, a, uh, a uh, backup manager type deal. You have access to the control panel where you can configure your desktop, which it is a unified control panel. You have access to your KDE as well as your system settings here for hardware configuration and that sort of thing, update, update manager. And because it is KDE, you do have KWIN installed. So if you want to, you can enable your desktop effects. They do have some uh, minimal effects that have been configured by default, but they were really they, they approached the desktop effects with a more conservative approach, and I appreciate that. 
one of the effects you do have enabled is your expo so you can show a desktop grid here and you can have as many or as few as you like so you can easily change your focus of your desktops and if you have applications open you can drag and drop those applications from one desktop to another the effects are smooth they're clean it, it's just a good implementation you have stack folders here which the only thing in it right now is a welcome.pdf and I appreciate this being here uh, this just gives you a quick look around Rosa what's available and it's, it's just a nice little uh, welcome as you can see open applications will be displayed as an icon in the central portion here and it provides a good pop-up uh, preview of what is what is open in that window moving across the panel there's quick access to Amrock to play your music Mozilla Thunderbird for your email client client Copete for instant messaging the web browser is Firefox and of course it being KDE you have the Dolphin file manager one of the things that stuck out to me this is very easy on the eyes um, they, they have a beautiful icon scheme that th this this is actually one of the more visually appealing icon schemes I believe I've seen one of the things that's decidedly different is their menu when you click on the menu launcher uh, Rosa has something installed called simple welcome just what you're looking at now um, the welcome screen you have your recent applications places so it's has kind of an integrated file manager although when you click it it doesn't open it it in, in simple welcome it'll pull that open in your file manager and recent documents down at the bottom it is searchable so you can look for you know whatever application just start typing and it'll pop it up for you there to do search results um, I have case sysguard here let's go ahead and pull that open right quick while my eyes are on it uh, it is running right now hmm, 660 megabytes of RAM so it is rather heavy for a newer KDE installation but considering everything you have going on it's not really too bad but giving that 600 70 660 meg of RAM I definitely would not recommend this for older hardware make sure you have a newer system but th like I said this virtual only has two gigs of RAM and two processors so and it's doing just fine so that's that's not too bad back to simple welcome there is an applications tab where it gives you an icon menu uh, icon driven menu of your installed applications uh, there are two pages and you switch pages by these little dots down at the bottom and then there's time frame which if you have Nepomuk enabled and one of the things I appreciate is is disabled by default so you can enable it either from here or in the KDE go into the KDE control center and enable it that's uh, Nepomuk is a database that does indexing of your files and documents so it'll make it a lot faster to, uh, to to perform searches your session manager and power is a, a well displayed I like this how it's prominently displayed up here um, so you can log out lock your session power off everything from right up here but I want to take a look at some of the applications you have installed flash is installed by default which is good again Amarok for music you have archiving utilities uh, Bluetooth another shortcut to your control panel the web man the uh, web the file manager rather uh, you have configuration utilities for Epson and HP for printers so yeah that's that's pretty nice to have in there Firefox G parted for your uh, partition editing very useful if you use a lot of thumb drives Gwenview and if you if you see these applications you don't know what they are if you hover on the icon for a moment you'll see that you get a pop-up that tells you what the application is because I know Linux applications can have confusing names so you have Gwenview for uh, an image viewer your software manager let's pull that open right quick Rosa has its own software manager 
Uh, it is a RPM based distro, which, okay, you know, oop, forgot, changed the password on this one. You do have a separate root and uh, user password on Rosa, and that's in keeping with all the Mandriva derivatives. So now it's trying to uh, update. We'll just give it a moment to do that. I found uh, one of the things that, that makes this not new person friendly uh, is the software management. Um, it's not a difficult system to use. Uh, it is a clean install, so now it's hollering about the uh, updates available. But the software manager is not a difficult program to use, but it is, it is definitely not appropriate for a new Linux user because it's not really categorized all that well. Not, not like the uh, Mint software manager or the Ubuntu software manager. Uh, you can search it. You know, there, there are some basic, um, some basic uh, categorizations going on over here, but you pretty much have to know what program you're looking for. So, it, it's it's a functional. I believe it's called RPM Drake. Let's check that out. Yes, RPM Drake for package management. So, yeah, it's 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 functional. It does what it it does what it does, and it does it well. It's it resolves dependencies. So it it is a good tool, but again, not very new user centric. You have K3B for disk burning, of course, calculator, a couple of games, KMine. Uh, Knet attach for your network shares. Uh, K notes, color lines, color paint, of course, console. I'm not going to go through all of these. Uh, let's hit on a couple of them. Of course, a few, uh, a few uh, administration utilities. K sysguard. Uh, K torrent for your BitTorrent. The LibreOffice suite is installed. Let's see, Thunderbird again. Ocular for uh, document viewer, pulse audio, volume control, and it looks like we have USB formatter here, which you can really do the same thing with uh, Gparted, and you actually have VPN connection and uh, UMagic soft phone. It's a software phone for uh, doing telephone calls over the internet, so it's pretty nice to see that installed. Uh, all over my impression with Rosa. I'm very impressed by it. I, I like what they've done here, being a Mandriva derivative, a, Mandri a Mandriva child. Um, I look forward to seeing what they offer in the future. I hope they keep going strong because this, this seems to be a beautiful, elegant, well thought out distribution. Uh, I've not experienced any crashes. I've been playing around with it for four days now. And uh, yeah, it's it's just, been a joy to work with. Well, give it a try. Download it. Install it. Let me know what you think. Um, thank you for joining me again for another uh, desktop review, and I hope to be with you again soon for another video.